So one thing I like to do uh, on my personal blog, I, I do a lot of hiking and I record my hikes on my Garmin watch. Uh, and I like to embed those then on my website uh, as I describe the hikes. So I'm going to show you how to actually take um, a track from your Garmin account. So Garmin Connect, which is what you see here and export that into Google Maps and actually create a map and then embed that. Um, I'm embedding it on WordPress. That's what I use for my blog. Um, but I'm going to walk you through the process that I follow to, to actually do this. So of course, it's the first thing you need if you've got a Garmin account, you know, obviously that, that, that would be the first step. Uh, log into your Garmin account. Of course, I've got LastPass, so it has everything signed in for me. So I sign in. Then you need to find the activity that you want to export. Um, all of your activities are going to be over here under activities. So if you click on activities and all activities, I'm looking for one in particular. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find it. It's a little bit further back. And it's this one right here that I want to actually export. So I'm going to click on my activity. And you can actually change a whole bunch of stuff in here, right? So this here, but I'm looking for the rainbow, rainbow Falls hike that I did in South Carolina. And this is back in August, and I'm finally adding this to my blog. But the next step, once you've found the activity that you want to export, you can see that it's already got it overlaid onto a Google map. But uh, we're going to go up here to this icon, the gear icon, and we want to export it. And we want to export it to a GPX format. So that's a specific file format. It's basically a text file with a whole bunch of information inside there about times and distances and GPS locations. But we're just going to go ahead and export that to GPX. So I'm going to click on that. You'll get a window asking you where to save it. So I'm just going to save this to my desktop. So you can see it's going right to my desktop. You can change the name if you're doing a whole bunch of these. I'm going to leave it as is, uh, just because it's the only one that I have right there right now. So saved. Okay. So we have that piece. Now we've got our track. We've exported it into a format that Google Maps can import. The next step, and this is kind of weird because it seems like Google doesn't really want people to be able to find this, is to actually log into your Google account. I'm already logged in. And then you go here, right? And this is the URL and it's kind of I never remember it. I, I have to have a link to it because it's impossible to find. But it's google.com backslash maps backslash D. Why that's the address, I don't know. But I never remember it. I just have a link to it. Um, you can see I've got a whole bunch of these in here because I do a lot of hiking and I track those. But what you're going to do is just click on this button, create a new map. So we click on this. You're going to get this window, which gives you lots of options, but the one that you're looking for is right here where it says Untitled Layer. We want to actually import, and what we're going to import is that GPX file that we just exported. So click on Import, and you can drag it to this window, or you can just select it from your device. So as you look on my desktop, it's right here. So I'm going to pull that up, and once it's in, you'll see that it automatically overlays that right onto the map. So it's already put it in, and you can see start and stop spots. Um, at this point, there's a lot that you can actually do. So you can insert um, different objects, right? So you can actually take a marker and drop it in. So if you wanted to say like, oh, right, here's a great overlook, or here's a good spot to stop and eat lunch, um, you can put pins in of all sorts of um, shapes and styles, right? So I'll pretend to put one in. Um, so this is just an imaginary point. I'm going to delete it later. Uh, and you can put information in here. You can add pictures about it. Um, once you save it, then you can actually change the color. So you can change it to we'll go green, just for fun. Anyway, so you can obviously do that. I'm going to delete that because I don't want it in there. Um, the other thing that I often do is I will go to base map and I will change that so it actually is the satellite. So because I'm hiking, I tend to prefer the satellite imagery so you can see roughly where people are going to be hiking. Obviously, this is a lot of foliage, and you can see that. Um, up here, you can also change the title to the map, right? Um, so this one happens to be Rainbow Falls. Sorry, I just had to check that. So this was my Rainbow Falls hike. 
and I'm going to double check the date here. So that was on August 10th. I usually name these that way, 2020-08-10, Rainbow Falls Hike. And I will add a description. Um, this is the hike to Rainbow Falls in Jones Gap State Park in South Carolina. There, so I've got that. All right, if you actually want to embed this onto uh, into your website, uh, again, I'm using WordPress here, which makes it particularly easy. There are a couple more steps that you actually have to do first. So one, you need to go to this spot right here where it says share, click on that. And by default, it's only restricted people can see this, right? Um, I'm going to change this to anyone with a link. I'm perfectly fine sharing this with anybody. I'm not trying to hide this at all. So I'm just going to change it like that. And then, of course, I could send a link if I wanted to, but I'm done with that. And then to actually embed it, you click right here, so these three buttons, and it says Embed on My Site. Click on that, and then you can take this code right here, copy that, and we can now embed that on the WordPress site. So I'm going to jump over here to my WordPress site. I've already built most of the article for this. And here is actually where I'm going to enter that, okay? Uh, but what I want to make sure I do when I'm doing this is I'm going to enter this as custom HTML because that's what this is, it's custom HTML. So I paste that in, and once it's in, I can hit preview, and there's my map. So it works beautifully. I'm going to add one little bonus thing here uh, just because I think it's useful for people to know. When you upload that file right, and create this map, um, Google actually stores this in your Google Drive account. So it is actually being uploaded and not just stored you know, in some hidden place on Google server, it's actually stored on your Google Drive account. Uh, to illustrate that, I'm actually, I've actually pulled up my drive here and you can see right there is the hike that I just created. And of course it's named based on the name that I gave it. Um, I have a whole folder just for hikes in here. If I can find this right there, maps and hikes. So I like to keep mine organized. I'm just going to drop this in there. Okay. So it's in there with everything else I want. And then you can see that all my hikes are organized and named roughly the same way. So they're organized by date. Um, but just useful bit of information that that's actually where it's stored. So yeah, we can take from your Garmin watch or device, right? Export create a new map in here, and then embed that map onto your website. And that's how it's done.